everyone and welcome to another autumn video on this day i woke up and it was raining outside a little bit dark it was just so beautiful and atmospheric perfect fall weather in my opinion so i decided i was going to run some errands and go to the bookstore and maybe stop by trader joe's and just have an overall cozy fall day I decided to go a bit extra this morning and use this pumpkin pie dish as my breakfast plate. I just thought it would be so cute and get me in the mood for fall. And I'm using this cute uh, coffee mug. I know it's odd for breakfast, but I decided to add a little bit of kimchi to my meal this morning. I just thought that it would be really good for my digestion and I was just in the mood for it for some reason. And then I'm just having bacon and sausage and an egg and my coffee. After breakfast, I decided to put my pot roast in the crock pot. I just put a rub on both sides. Um, it's mainly just salt, uh, pepper, and um, the onion salt that I got from Trader Joe's and a little bit of paprika. And I just put some oil in the pan, um, avocado oil, and I just seared it until it's brown on all sides. We'll try to get it brown on most of the sides. And then I just put it straight into the crock pot. Okay, the roast is in the crock pot. I'm just adding some diced onions into the like pot roast juices and the rest of the oil that's left in there. And I just, I'm browning these up a little bit and adding in some garlic, some salt, once it's all brown, um, I just added like half this carton of uh, chicken bone broth. I would have used beef bone broth, but I didn't have any, so the chicken actually turned out pretty good. Then I added this packet of au jus uh, gravy mix. It's found like with the spices in the grocery store. I let that simmer and cook down a little bit until it's this darker color and then I just add it directly on top of the roast in the crock pot and then on top of that I add um, about four tablespoons of butter and then some rosemary and then I just pop on the lid and let that cook. It's raining outside and it's cloudy. It's just the perfect cozy day. I've got my cozy sweater on. Um, this is from Amazon. It's like a perfect like blanket. So it's got like a couple fuzzy fuzzies on it, but it's like the perfect. It's like you're wearing a blanket basically. I just love it so much. But um, we're gonna go to the bookstore, and I might treat myself to a coffee today. Um, so let's see what we can get up to. So I went to change out my purse for this one. I thought it was perfect for the fall, and. I got it at a thrift store, I think, last year, and I haven't used it yet, but it is just so perfect for the fall, and I'm so excited about it, so I'm inspired to go to a thrift store and see if I can find um, an autumnal um, color sweater, because I have a lot of these, like, black and gray colors, but I don't have any warm tones, so I'm going to stop by a thrift store too today to see if they have a cozy sweater. I decided to pick up some pumpkins to line my uh, walkway in front of my house and I decided on some of the pumpkin pie pumpkins. I'll show you once I get home. In the car, I'm listening to the audiobook of The Secrets of Hartwood Hall, and it's actually pretty good.
Once we got in our neighborhood, these deer were out grazing. They're so beautiful. I tried not to scare them off. I just love seeing them. It just made the day more magical. And when I got home, I laid out the six pumpkins. I love how they look. I might even get a few more so I can finish the walkway. The thrift trip was a success. I found this like really pretty. It's got more orange tone in like real life. Um, like a brownish orange color. It's so soft. Um, it's kind of like a chenille-ish fabric. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this. I picked up this gold frame. I'm going to be making a gallery wall um, after Halloween for Christmas. And I'll let you know more about that in my Christmas planning video. And I also picked up this, it's like a wild turkey. I thought that would be perfect for the gallery wall that I'm going to do. And then I popped into another thrift store and I got some decor items. Um, I got this, uh, what do you call it, pewter uh, pitcher. I can put like flowers or something like that in this. I just thought it was so beautiful and it was only $6.99. Um, and around Christmas time, I've always wanted to do like a gallery wall. Um, of my stairs and so I'm going to try um, to do that I've been collecting frames and stuff um, I might paint this gold I might it's like a silverish gray color but I might keep it the way it is I'm not sure yet and then these two um, they have different pictures on them but I kind of liked the antique like the chipping on the edges and stuff I kind of liked the way that they that looks and then this um, candle holder I thought was so pretty. I love the gold and just the natural wood tones on it. And finally, this frame I thought was interesting because of the like, kind of pointed scalloped edging on it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it brown or if I'm going to paint it. I don't know. But we'll see. I also did find two sweaters too. This one is going to be like kind of oversized but I thought it was so pretty with the like leaf embroidery it's like a really deep dark brown color and then this pale pink French connection cashmere sweater it's so pretty and it was a dollar 99 I'm so excited about this and I checked it for holes and everything and it's in really good condition I decided to have a lighter lunch I just chopped up some romaine lettuce squash cucumber and some tomatoes and I made my own Italian dressing out of the packets with vinegar and olive oil and just shook it up. This is like my favorite dressing to make. It tastes so good. I don't even have a dressing container. I just use this um, leftover pickle jar for my dressing. I just put it in the dishwasher. I just added some shredded Parmesan cheese and I heated up some leftover pumpkin butternut squash soup that I had made and this was the perfect lunch. It was late afternoon and my son was wanting to go somewhere outside and so I decided to just pack up a snack and we went to our local botanical gardens to go leaf hunting and have a little mini picnic. Um, and it was just so beautiful outside. There were leaves everywhere. The roast turned out better than I expected. It was so good, best roast that I've ever had, and I will definitely be making it again. This meal was the perfect end to a perfect, cozy autumn day. Now I'm going to pick a movie from my movie jar and 
cozy up under a blanket and watch a spooky movie. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.